Hey, what's up guys? Everything Epan here, and man, has it been a while since I uploaded a video, and I am sorry for that. I've been busy lately, and I just haven't been getting around to uploading, but since school's almost out, um, and it's going to be summer, I'm going to have a lot more time to upload. So, um, as you see already by the title, today's video is how to install Ubuntu 15.04 in VirtualBox. Now, 15... 0.04 is the latest version of Ubuntu at the time of this video. Obviously, they're going to release uh, more versions later. Um, but this is the current version that's um, here. And so I'm going to show you how to install it in VirtualBox. Now, this tutorial could possibly be used if you're installing it on your own computer. But, I mean, I haven't done those kind of tutorials. I've only done VirtualBox tutorials. But if you want me to do... Um, those kind of tutorials just let me know in the comments section and actually uh, just let you know one of my uh, videos actually got removed by YouTube for copyright or something or flagged I don't know um, the Windows 2000 video got removed so I may stop doing Windows videos because I mean well I mean the Windows 95 obviously that one's doing alright right now um, but I don't know what I'm gonna do about that because I've seen a lot of other Windows videos and they've been on there for how long and they haven't gotten removed by YouTube or whatever so um, enough about that, let's go ahead and begin the tutorial. So you're going to need a couple things. Um, one, if you do not have VirtualBox already itself, you're going to need to download that, which is going to be the first link in the description. Um, you can download it for your specified OS right here. You can also download the extension pack that is optional. You do not need it. So you go ahead and download and install that. And then the second thing you'll need is um, Ubuntu. So you'll get an add, skip it up here. Um, and then you'll get to this page. And you want to scroll down. You'll be at the top of the page here. You want to scroll down to this part right here. And then you'll need to get either the 64-bit version or 32-bit version. A lot of people now will be getting 64-bit version. Um, but the 32-bit, obviously, it says right here, for machines with less than 2 gigs of RAM. So obviously, I want the 64-bit version. And I'll hit Download. And then it'll take you to this page, um, tell us what we should do more. You do not need to donate at all. You just hit not now, take me to the download. And then it'll say thank you for downloading Ubuntu Desktop. And it will download. Now, depending on your internet connection, this may take a range from 5 to 20 minutes. Um, as you see by the 1 after this AMD 64 I already have this installed so I do not need to install it again as you see since it's 1.1 gigs so I'll just go ahead and cancel that and so now that you have VirtualBox installed and you have your setup file um, here you're going to want to create a new virtual machine in VirtualBox so you may not have all these virtual machines on the left side like if you've just installed it or maybe you do if you already have it installed so create a new virtual machine we'll name it Ubuntu 15.04 and it already selects it as uh, Linux and Ubuntu 64-bit. That's exactly what we want. And if you just want, if you want the 32-bit version, it's right here. But we're selecting 64-bit since uh, we have the 64-bit version. And then it asks you how much RAM you want. The recommended size is 512. But I'm going to bump it up to a gig. Hit next. Um, we're going to create a virtual hard drive. I'm going to select it as a VMDK. You can select as any of these. I usually prefer either uh, VDI or VMDK. Hit next, and then dynamically allocated next. And then you choose the size. I'm going to make it 10 gigs. Since really I'm not going to be saving anything on this, I'm just doing this for a video tutorial. Hit create. And then you have the, the virtual machine created now. So now you go to settings, storage, hit this little empty slot, and then hit the disk in this corner. And then you need to find your Ubuntu file. So you choose one and it should be in your downloads folder so we'll select it there and hit OK and then we'll go ahead and start the virtual machine Now, I mean if you guys have um, VirtualBox and you have done um, virtual machine installations before some of this may be familiar to you but you just may not know how to do Ubuntu um, but you'll get these screens this is perfectly normal just let it load there it'll show you Ubuntu 15.04 and depending on how fast your computer is it may take a little bit longer to load and if that thing comes up just let it load it's completely normal and 
your screen will become a little bit bigger. You'll get a mouse icon. And you'll get a little bit of things to load. You might hear audio, as I just did there. So there, it already selects my language as English. And then you can either try Ubuntu. It says you can try Ubuntu without making any changes. Or you can directly install it from this ISO. So actually, if you wanted to, you don't even need to install it. You can use this without, but it won't save anything. It'll, since, like, it, like it won't save anything. Like if you have this burned to a flash drive, it's still not going to save it to it. But it's going to work. A, it's going to work a lot faster if you do it that way. But um, since um, a lot of you would want to install it, we're going to do that in this video, obviously. So for the best results, it says you need to have at least 6.6 .6 gigs of. Um, hard drive space and it needs to be connected to the internet and, and it will not continue until it allows you to do that. Um, if any of you have any problems with internet connection make sure that you have it as an NAT um, type connection Intel Pro 1000 MT desktop that type of a network thing and then I'm gonna select download updates and I'm gonna skip this third-party software hit continue then I'll take it to the next screen um, now, if you're actually installing this, like if you are using this tutorial to uh, um, help you actually install it on your actual hard drive on your computer, um, you will probably end up wanting to do this selection, erase disk and install it in boot too. And you can also encrypt it, you can uh, do the logical volume management on it, um, but some people get confused on this, like if any of you want to dual boot it, you'll hit something else and then continue, you'll have to do all this uh, um, little stuff here but since this is a brand new technically a brand new hard drive um, you'll just we're just gonna hit erase disk and install Ubuntu hit install now then it'll um, write the changes to disk if you continue this stuff will happen and we do want this so we'll hit continue again it'll take you to the next step I'll ask what time zone you're in, and it's already got me in central time. So we'll continue again. And then I'll ask for your keyboard layout, and it's already got English, US, English, US for me. So I can test it out. And I can type in anything I want. And then we can continue again, and then I believe now it will begin installing it on your computer. No, actually it does your username. Sorry about that. So you type in your username. We're going to call this um, Ubuntu. Just Ubuntu. We'll pick that, that name that exists on the network. Um, Ubuntu PC. I don't know. Um, just do a password. Actually, we'll skip password. We'll log in automatically. Oh, you do need a password. Darn it. Okay. Well. Password match. And hit continue. Now it will install, uh, start installing it on your computer. As you see, it's already over halfway done on copying files. So typically an Ubuntu uh, installation is usually faster than a Windows. So now it's going to go through the process of installing it on your computer and I'm going to go ahead and let this sit for you guys and I'll be back with you when it's finished.
Okay, so it says installation is complete, so that took probably about um, a little over five minutes for it to uh, install. And so now it says you need to restart the computer in order to use the new installation. So obviously we're going to go ahead and restart now. If it gives you that error again, it's normal. You saw that in the boot up video. If it gives you all these things, it's normal. It's just restarting. So it's a pretty quick operating system for it to install since it only took about over a little over five minutes, almost six minutes probably to install. But if you guys do end up having a problem with uh, this little uh, box here or whatever, this text, you can always just reset the virtual machine. So we're going to go ahead and do that. If it gives you this, it's completely normal as you remember from when we booted up from the uh, ISO file. But instead of loading from the disk, it's going to load uh, from the hard drive since we actually have it installed on the hard drive. So there you go, it's booted up right away, it gives you that sound. Um, so I just need to enter in my password. It may give you a boot up sound, I'm not sure, like a login sound, I don't remember if they do or not. But it may take a little bit for it to boot up since this is the first time you're using it and now I'm logged in and there we are we are now in um, Ubuntu 15.04 we have just installed it and you can go ahead and install anything you want I believe you get internet access right away Firefox is its default web browser so we can go ahead and check to see if we have internet access so we're at the start page, that's good at least, so we'll try and go to youtube.com and yes we do have internet access on it so actually um, it gives you the option to install YouTube once I just went to that there so there you go guys, that is my video tutorial on how to install Ubuntu in VirtualBox if you want more tutorials like this please subscribe, like, and actually comment if you want me to um, I can also do different kind of tutorials or videos for you guys if you want. Um, but um, that's going to be it for this tutorial for you guys. Hope you uh, enjoyed or learned anything about it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.